Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Bless Your Coupons. Today I'm headed to Walmart to do my beginning of the week Walmart I bought a haul and my midweek moneymaker bonus was a dollar for 15 offers. That's not my favorite one and I know it's not your favorite either because you guys have told me it's just not an exciting one but again again any brand offers count so there is that um, that's always a plus and I am still working on my Mayflowers bonus which for me was ten dollars for 30 offers so um, there is some incentive to get that bonus otherwise I probably wouldn't I don't know though that I um, will hit I, I think I need 20 offers for my Mayflowers bonus I don't think I'm gonna hit even the, the midweek money maker bonus today my list is very short and I'm just not interested in pushing myself. I do think I have until the 31st for the Mayflowers bonus. So I may chip away at that slowly and just let that come as it does. Uh, but that dollar for 15 offers, it just isn't worth it to get things if it's not a good deal. And so again, I don't have an extensive list going. I don't even have a pretty good list going. Um, so I'm going to get things I feel like are a good deal for my family that I feel like are a good uh, price and really kind of leave it at that. So. We'll see what happens, and you never know. Uh, sometimes I get there, and I'm things are just working. So uh, we'll see. Maybe that'll happen, but um, I don't have high hopes. I guess that's what I'm saying. I don't have high hopes for reaching that bonus in this haul alone. So we'll see what happens. But hey, if you want to see what I got at Walmart today, stay tuned, and I'll show you. <laughs> Okay guys, so here are all the things that I picked up in my Walmart. I bought a haul today. This is 12 offers. Uh, so I exceeded my goal. My goal is usually in situations like this to hit 10. And like I said earlier, I knew I wasn't going to get 15, but I was hoping for at least 10. I got 12. So um, I did pick up a few things that I wasn't anticipating uh, picking up just because they were on clearance. They were a good deal. Um, and then just some other things that kind of popped out at me as I was shopping. So definitely excited that it, it was 10. I, I wasn't sure I was going to hit 10. So to get 12, that was exciting to me. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about what I did pick up. Okay, so the first thing I got is a repeat deal. These Max Pork Skins, these are $1.78 each. So I picked up three of them. That brought my total to $5.34. Redeemed to Ibotta for $1.78 when you buy three. And that made my final cost $3.56 or $1.18 each. Okay, and then the next thing I picked up were the Cliff Bars. These are six packs. They were on clearance for $1.68 each, and my store only had two of them. So I went ahead and picked up both. I love these. So um, I've actually found these on clearance before and uh, still have some from that time. Um, but these make, I mean, for me anyway, I look to be able to grab them as a breakfast or sometimes if I know I'm going to be out shopping during like lunchtime, I'll grab one, throw it in my purse, and that will be my lunch. Um, but I really, really like these. So not only was I excited to find them on clearance and also, and I bought a rebate, but I really like them and I like having them on hand. So it was definitely a win either way for me. Um, but like I said, they were on clearance for $1.68. I went ahead and grabbed both boxes. That brought my total to $3.36. I redeemed to Ibotta for $0.75 cents on each, um, so $1.50 there. And then I redeemed to Ibotta for a $0.10 cent any protein bar, and that made my final cost $1.76 or $0.88 cents a box. And because any offers are counting towards our bonus, then this does count as two separate offers. So I liked that as well. And then next is another repeat deal for me. I did the Jergens lotion. These are $3.48. I used a $1.50 insert coupon. I redeemed to Ibotta for a dollar, and that made my final cost 98 cents. And then next is a bundle deal that you can do with Shopkick and then also throw in some Ibotta as well. So I picked up one of these Dove Men's Body Washes for $6.97, and then I picked up one of the Dove Men's Deodorants. It should have been $4.88, like it is there in the picture, um, but I didn't even notice it until I got home. It rake up uh, $5.28, so I was like, man, that was a little bit of a bummer, especially because I didn't use any coupons for this. Um, I mean, I know I could have taken it up and, and they would have given me the money, but I didn't notice it. So at the end of the day, it's not too big of a deal. But like I said, I uh, did pay $5.28. So that's why that's what's in my breakdown. Um, so that brought my total to $12.25. I redeemed to Ibotta for $2 on the body wash. And then I redeemed to Shopkick for $1,650 kicks and 10 scan kicks each. So that was $6.68. Made my final cost $3.57 or $1.78 each. 
Next are some Nivea products. So I picked up the Nivea Men's Face Wash. That was $4.94. I redeemed to Ibotta for $3, and that made my final cost on that $1.94. And then I also got the Nivea Men's Cream. This was $2.97. I redeemed to Ibotta for $1.60, and that made my final cost $1.37. And then for purchasing both of those items, I did get a $0.75 cent Nivea Men's uh, bonus. And then next is a uh, new offer for me, the Sensodyne Toothbrushes. These are $5.92. I redeemed to Ibotta for $1.50. I redeemed to Shopkick for 600 kicks and 15 scan kicks, so $2.46. And that made my final cost $1.96. Okay, and then next is the Listerine mouthwash. I did not have any more coupons for these, but I kind of felt like it was worth it because it attaches to two separate offers. So because it's double um, counting, it felt like it was worth it even without the coupon. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So these are $5.43. I redeemed to Ibotta for $1.50. And then like I said, it is also attaching um, to another separate offer for Listerine for a dollar. Um, so when you scan this in store, you will see two different Listerine rebates come up for it and it will double count. So that made my final cost on it $2.93. Would have loved to be able to throw in that um, Listerine coupon, but I didn't have it, but again, it, it was worth it for it to count twice. All right, and then the last thing I picked up were the Poland Springs 8-ounce 12-packs. I picked up two of them. They were $2.38 each, so that brought my total to $4.76. I used a $1.50 off to insert coupon. I redeemed to Ibotta for a dollar on each, so $2 there. And then I also redeemed for a $0.10 cent any water rebate. So that made my final cost $1.16 or $0.58 cents each. And in case you don't know this, there is um, a rebate for Life Water. It is um, a free after offer rebate. So I had that on my list. I was in the aisle for the water and I did not notice that that bottle of water is a freebie if you get the immunity support. For some reason, that did not catch my eye. All I saw was free bottle of life water and knew my smaller Walmarts had them. Um, so I was kind of excited about that. So I get in the aisle, they're way up on top and kind of far back. And I think I've mentioned this once before, but I'm not a tall lady. I'm like 5'2". I struggle in aisles, especially if things are high up or way back. And there have been times when I've wanted something and nobody was there to ask to help me. And I've had to just let it go and not get it that time. Um, so I'm like, okay, great. How am I going to get this bottle of Walmart, uh, water? But I knew it was a freebie. I knew I wanted it. So I was using other bottles of water. I was standing on top of of the shelf below, like I must have looked like an idiot trying to get this bottle of water. And I don't know how I did it, but I finally got the water, scanned it, it said offered it match. And I was like, what? You gotta be kidding me. And that's when I figured out, oh, it has to be the immunity support. And of course there were none in the store. So, I mean, I was so frustrated because here I am like standing on my head trying to get this bottle of water and it wasn't even the one that qualified for the rebate. So yeah definitely uh, should have figured that out before going after that bottle of water. Okay, and that's everything, guys. So like I said earlier, this is 12 offers. Really, really thankful for those any rebate offers um, because that did help me uh, get a little bit further than I wanted to without having to purchase anything else. The Listerine rebate helped me do that. So definitely appreciating those. Um, so I got back $17.08 from my Ibotta. I did finally hit level two. I had to hit 80 offers to get to level two. Let me know in the comments below as well. Like, are you finding that you're having to hit more offers to reach the different levels? Because I know it was 40 offers for level one and another 40 for level two. That's changed for me. It hasn't always been that way. So, I mean, it is it is getting tougher and tougher to hit those levels for me anyway. So I don't know about you guys. Let me know. Um, but I did finally hit level two. I got a dollar for that. I got a 75 cent Nivea bonus for buying both of those products. And then I got back $9 from Shopkick. So there it is. I do still need another three offers for my midweek moneymaker bonus and eight for my Mayflowers bonus. So uh, for three offers, I I probably won't let that bonus go. Um, I'll probably get three more things uh, maybe at CVS. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I probably won't let it go for just three offers and then another eight for the for the Mayflowers and probably we'll combine that with whatever we get for a weekend warrior bonus. So anyway, but yeah, that's everything I got.
All right, everyone, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and make sure to leave me a comment below. Um, also, there's a printable list in the description box below, so you can print that out and take it to the store with you. There are referral links and codes for all of the different cashback apps, and, and thank you to anyone who signs up to and uses my referral codes that is a blessing, so I really appreciate that as well. But hey, I pray that you guys have a very blessed rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.